I am sitting with, sitting with my heart, asking myself how to live from that place. How do I live with grace and live with love? Return that non-love with love. Return that hate with a smile. I know that sometimes it needs to be fierce, but I'm asking myself, where is my commitments? How do I surrender? And I'm making clear decisions. Cause connected to my heart and I feel this sadness and I feel this grief. But it gives me great relief to share it where it's heard. I know, I know. It's important to slow down. It's not always about those peak experiences that we have that we be searching for all the time because there's so much trust in just being in the now. Cause that's the only thing you can really commit to. And I learned that again, over and over and over again. My inner guidance system, I am ready to listen. I am ready to listen, to see past the mind. I offer you this gift and I offer you this gift cause it's time to unwind. Yeah. How do I learn to use my discomfort for growth, for growth? I know there's a universe deep inside so I slow down to see it. My internal dialogue, I can leave it alone. Going deep into the void. And I jump into the blackness. Feel the love all around, feel the sparkles in the sky, feel the sparkles in this cave. I am not alone. We can all be brave when we hold each other's hands. When we hold each other's hearts. You can do it with your mind, you can do it with your eyes closed. Just close your eyes and picture your friends, picture your friends, picture your family, picture your partner, all in it together. Let yourself unwind, let yourself be relaxed. Breathe deep, breathe deep, that pain is in your body, it's not in your mind. So connect to your breath. The pain is in your body, it is not in your mind. So connect to your breath, let your energy move. It's okay to have a tear, and you have to sit with fears to get to know them, to break off the cycle so we can vortex. Yes. So we can vortex. When you slow down, you can listen to the chemicals inside your body. They will teach you a lesson, the wisdom of the body. And if you need some guidance, it is deep inside, but it might take a while. You might have to slow down for like days and days. Make it a habit. Make it a habit, there's nothing to grab. When you live in your destiny instead of chasing happiness. You can only commit to the present moment. You can only commit to the right now. I know that sounds mysterious, I know that sounds kind of out there and stuff, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Hear the frequency in my voice. Hear the grief I'm playing with. Hear the heartache. Because when you live your life from your heart, you're going to experience extreme ecstasy. Extreme bliss, extreme delight, and grief, and sadness, sorrow, anger. So reach out to those people that can hold the space. 
reach out to those people that can hold the space. Commit to your partner, commit to their family. That's unconditional, unconditional love. And sometimes the love is fierce. That's okay, that's okay. It's important to know. When you're living from the heart, there are no rules. There are no rules. Mm. So the secret to commitment is to slow down and connect with your heart. trust in life because that commitment to the heart it will engender luck it's a seed of good fortune yeah right now and I'm just playing with this beat here that I've been working on for way too long <laughs> but that's kind of how I uh, I process a lot of times so I process through play you know play uh, play with these beats play with music um, play with dance I know we all have different ways in which we can be playful with maybe what we might call the more serious things of life. Um, you know, that's one of my messages that's from my heart. Is that, you know, we're all, uh, we're all artists. And uh, we all have a message. And uh, I just have a lot of grief and heartache for the people that don't feel supported to share their message because there's so many unheard messages on this planet that need to be heard that aren't heard Uh, that aren't heard because uh, of systematic racism or systematic uh, oppression Um, parenting Ancestral pain, all races, all the human family deal with this. And I sit with that grief and you know I've been putting myself out there a lot and you know uh, I feel uh, like my my heart <laughs> you know it <laughs> sometimes it just just breaks because uh-huh. I'm putting myself out there I hear a lot of I get a lot of messages or uh, I can from all over the place messages of love messages of uh, of hate uh, of non non understanding and um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't stop me from wanting to commit more to sharing my heart but uh, slow me down uh, according to my mind <laughs> and in my heart I know it's there is no such thing because uh, uh, you know I'm led by a higher purpose and <laughs> I'm okay with my tears I'm okay with my grief uh, I can sit with it and feel it uh, because it starts to feel good after a while uh, you know, doing doing the deeper work can help you feel this uh, deep, deep sense of love for yourself and compassion for yourself and compassion for those who you may call your enemies. Because um, you tap into that, that one family that we are. sitting with my beat 
uh, just letting it move my energy. You know, trusting in the cycles. You know, I think, uh, you know, I used to want to make music to be seen, and there's still part of that, but it's not that, in, it's, it's so much more than that. That I, I want to be seen. I just, it's it's the it's this this like deep vibrating hum frequency inside of my body that's like go 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 share one one person you know I just. desires, you know, we have to honor our desires, and um, doesn't mean we have to always act on them, but we have to honor them, you know, that's, that's, that's deep intimacy with yourself, and when you honor that deep intimacy, um, I think you're guided, you're guided uh, by the universe, or you're guided by spirit, you know, there's cultures from all over this planet. We all use different words. We can use God. We can use spirit. We can use uh, energy, whatever. Um, but uh, you know, we're one big organism, and uh, that's why I say we all have a message, and we all have a genius inside of us because uh, it's our diversity that creates this unity. And um, yeah, I'm only on section B of my beat here. Let's see. <laughs> oh, slow it down. <laughs> uh, should I get through the whole beat? You know, it's it's really like <laughs> You know, it's like how do you how do you turn you know your your challenges in life into opportunity. Because yeah. I think that is what expands our capacity to be loving, to, to, to just like show up for the people in our lives that we want to show up for. You know, being a tender parent to yourself. ourselves is, is how do we how do we use our inner discomfort for growth just ask the question ask the question that's all it is is asking the question reveals the answer but it's it's a slowing down to get the answer and so I'm slowing way down here and seeing getting this answer of like and I'm trying to explain it But so much of our pain and so much of our suffering and grief, it's physical, it's in our body. We have to go into our bodies, into the body. It's not cognitive. It's in the body. Slow way down. 
do? We have three sections left. It's the longest beat ever. Baseline. <laughs> it's like I can, you know, it's, I can feel like this, like deep sorrow and grief and joy at the same time. It's just, you know, that is yin and yang. That is. Uh, that is life. That is the totality of life. There's a lot of loss right now. And that can bring some... A lot of emotions. It can bring... Grief and joy and... All the things, right? This world's a mystery. And then there it is. We can end with the chorus. I have post this. I don't know if I'm gonna post this, and, and you made it all the way to the end. Um, I love you. <laughs> and if you didn't watch it, I love you too. I love you. Thank you. Thank you for um, being a witness to my growth and um, to uh, to my heart. Oh, perfect timing. The beat. I unplugged it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we are. Okay. Um, we can't end it. It's got to. It's got to finish the four bars. 